What's going on, y'all? Taylor Ward back here with another video. All right, so I'm going to be talking about Cormark International. Now, I had a little bit of experience with Cormark International back in early 2021 when I first got out of CDL school. I went there before I went to Snyder. And I was only there for a month. I graduated in school in November 2020. Went to Cormark and worked there for December 2020. So I started um, Snyder January. So yeah, uh, it wasn't a whole lot of experience, but it was enough for me to be like, okay, I, wanna, I don't want to do this. But anyway, so not to knock out Cormark, not to say it's a bad company or whatever. Just saying that when I was there, so pretty much what the company does is they deliver um, tobacco, little um, snacks, gas stations, and stuff like that, like Murphy's, uh, Valeros, All Subs, little um, mainly the gas stations, pretty much. So, but you have to hand deliver them. You use a dolly, you got a ramp, and you go inside the store. You load the store up. I mean, you have to load up the ramp, go inside the store, and um take the stuff in so when i was there it was the same thing pay was pretty decent it was it was decent it wasn't as much as a lot of other places but it was decent i'm not gonna get into too many details about it but i'm gonna say it was decent um but it was a lot of it wasn't as physical as other places but it was physical because you might have had a few dairy products you might have had a lot of toast you had to kind of none of the stuff was really that heavy but it was heavy enough to where you kind of felt it at the end of the day so you had to bring and then this is another thing you kind of got paid for your toast too you had to bring you had to once you deliver the toast the next day or something like that you come back you pick them up you get paid for some toast i forgot the percentage to break all that down but that's how it was <clears throat> and also um you get paid by the mile the cube and to stop something like that um that's where i went straight out of school because i was like hey i don't know for sure if i want to be local or if i want to go on the road when i got there i was like i don't really i'm not really too sure about doing this so i'm like all right well i'm gonna try it out but i did it anyways and it just wasn't for me you know but just not to knock anything bad about them but just that in general Cormark, it's okay. And then and this is another thing too. They had team routes. They had a lot of team routes. <laughs> team routes made a lot of money. I've never been interested in doing any team route. I don't care who you are. My best friend, girlfriend, whoever. Mama, I don't want to be doing a team route with nobody. I, I enjoyed being by myself. So and in that small space with somebody, living with somebody, just not for me. So I said, yeah, I don't really want to do that, you know, because that's where the money was, was really with the team routes. And another thing, too, a lot of their trailers wasn't as the local guys. A lot of their trailers, I think the tall, the longest trailer they had was probably like a 43 foot or something like that. They had a lot of plug trailers. But I went there and I was like, well... And they drove reefers on top of that. I forgot they drove reefers. <laughs> but um, you got to understand, too. If you go there and try to get some experience, you may not get that experience because you're not driving a 53-foot trailer. Some companies want you to have that experience of driving a 53-foot trailer. So keep that in mind, too. Also, um, I, what else I would say about Cormark? They was a great company, you know. All companies have its ups and downs, but just keep in mind, you know, Cormark, it was, it was a pretty physical job. So if you're up to all that physical stuff, that's what you want to do, it's fine. I was at the point where I'd like, I'm going to just do this just because I'm going to just try it out and I'm going to just try to see what they're about because they were right around the corner from my house. Um, I don't know if they have any other Cormarks anywhere else, but I'm in the DFW area, so I know they have one in DFW, and I think they have one in Oklahoma, too. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, just remember that, too. If, you, if you're if you interested in Cormark, I mean, hey, it's a great company, you know, but it just wasn't a good fit for me and what I was trying to do. I'm like, hey, I made a good decision going out on the road, seeing different things, but that was Cormark, so... 
Uh, like, share, subscribe. Anybody got any questions? Leave me in. The, leave it in the comments. Anybody out there, you know, in anything to say about anything, man? Leave it in the comments. I respond to a lot of my comments and stuff like that. So, I got more videos coming out pretty soon. So, stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Turn your post notification uh, bell on, and I'll see y'all in the next one.